forced vaccination on us. Nigerians called for with, uh, withdrawal of the NCDC bill. A bill for an act to repeal the Quarantine Act and enact the Control of Infectious Disease Bill has passed a second reading in the House of Representatives. According to Bajabi Amila, he said, if the bill is signed and becomes a law, the NCDC will be empowered and may forcefully administer necessary vaccine to curb the spread of pandemics. It's also empowered the minister and the, the president and the minister to exercise certain necessary power during any outbreak. According to the bill, NCDC vaccination and other prophylaxis. One, every person on an international voyage, whether living or arriving in Nigeria, shall A have undergone vaccination or other proxylaxis against all or any of the disease as may be prescribed. And B. Produce valid international certificates of vaccination or other prophylaxis to a port health officer. 2. Notwithstanding subsection 1B, a port health officer may require such person to undergo vaccination or other prophylaxis and may subject him to isolation or surveillance for such period as the port health officer thinks fit. 3. The port health officer may, in his discretion, return any person, not being a citizen of Nigeria, who arrives in Nigeria in contravention of subsection 1 to his place of origin or embarkation at the expense of the owner or agent of the vessel by which he arrived in Nigeria. 4. The owner master or agent of any vessel shall ensure compliance with subsection 1 in respect to of in respect of any person on board his vessel 31 disinfection and treatment of vessels and vehicle the director general or any authorized health officer may in his discretion order the disinfection and treatment of the clothes and personal effects of any infected person arriving in Nigeria. 2. Any vessel or vehicle which has conveyed an infected person shall be cleansed, disinfected or treated in such manner as may be directed by the Director General or an authorized health officer. 32. Arrival of infected ships. An infected ship may Sorry, an infected ship shall anchor at a quarantine anchorage unless otherwise directed by a port health officer and shall remain there until it has been granted practice by a port health officer. The Quarantine Act provided a penalty of 500, sorry, 500 naira for defaulters, but the control of, of infections, the control of infectious disease bill was proposing a penalty of between 200,000 and 5 million naira. Most members voted against the bill, but the deputy speaker ruled that that bill passes for second reading. In a democracy, a bill got a second reading and almost 50% of the House haven't seen or read the bill. Salam said that the bill which was supposed to have been circulated among members ahead of debate in line with the procedures of, her, of the House had not been given to him. Said Salam, I have not seen the bill and I have asked some colleagues around here and they do not have it either. I do not know if the bill compels states to establish centers for emergencies. I do not know if the bill makes it compulsory for palliative measures under such circumstances. 
In Kem Abonta, PDP Abia said that he had only seen the title of the bill but had not seen the bill itself. Abonta expressed fear that the vaccination may be made compulsory given the conspiracy theories all over social media on vaccination. He said, if the House was to do away with public hearing on the bill, which is an integral part of lawmaking, there was need for time for members to critically look at it before it is passed. You cannot give any organization, be it governmental, thus much power. Forcefully injecting someone with a vaccine without knowing the content of what is inside. A bill that seeks to sheepishly take away the fundamental rights of Nigerians shouldn't be allowed to stand. The Americans, British, Europeans are not accepting forced vaccination. Then why are they sneaking or sne why are they sneakingly forcing it to Nigerians by publishing the so-called NCDC bill? The vaccine you have never seen and you want to hurriedly pass the bill that the bill that is that horrible? Well, guys, it's what it is. You're beginning to hear what is going on. How can you pass a bill that would forcefully inject or make vaccine uh, compulsory to citizens without their consent? It is absurd. Well, so let's take a few reactions to hear what Nigerians are saying. The king man says, this is a critical matter and it must never be overlooked. That bill must be stopped. I hope you know the intricacies of that bill. You are forcing the house to assent. Critically review that crazy bill now. It's not all about you. Don't push this nation in a situation that you will regret much later. Hashtag stop the NCDC bill. Focus on other critical matters, please. Dr. Vicky Healthcare at YMC says, Haba at Speaker Bajamia Mila in this century, Another person says, our Nigerian politicians are more deadly than the COVID-19. We say enough is enough. Hashtag stop the NCDC bill. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue? Forcing a, a bill on Nigerians is really, really not, you know, what is needed at this particular point in time. As a matter of fact, there are no uh, appro uh, approved vaccine ready to be taken now. So why are they actually, you know, wanting uh, uh, or passing the bill to make a law that will make the vaccine compulsory to everyone? So these are issues that need to be del uh, delicately looked into. Kola Balogun says, honestly, I find it embarrassing. The kind of legislators and leaders we have in this country, the way they reason and the kind of bills they bring forth baffles me. I am waiting for who will come and forcefully vaccinate me and my household. They are taking the quietness of Nigerians for granted. You will soon see the true color of Nigerians. Another person says, enough is enough. Resolution is the solution. Prince Will says, lockdown or not, we will all go to the street to resist it. Enough of this nonsense, even the COVID-19, is not African things. It is a gimmick for making money by our leaders, whose carelessness allowed it to filter in. They should even remove the lockdown so that we can take care of ourselves because hunger is killing more people than the so-called COVID-19. Another person says, this old man wants to dis destroy humanity after their generation. They don't care about us or our future. Another person says, this vaccine is a death trap. Please, NCDC, federal government, don't sign this into law. It's a doom for humanity and not only Nigerians. When Pastor Chris mentioned something like this, most foul-mouthed people abused him. Now, what is happening? 
So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you think that the bill to seek uh, this vaccine, to make this vaccine compulsory is actually in the interest of Nigerians or there is another agenda from these lawmakers who are trying to pass this bill? Well, be that as it be, guys. Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.